Hey, what's up and how's it going? This is Toby and as some of you guys already know, I'm currently working on this exciting augmented reality game called Arcade and it's a bit similar to Rocket League in a sense, just with planes, shooting and of course an augmented reality. And in today's vlog, I want to show you all the exciting changes and updates I made for this game, including the cross-platform multiplayer working across iOS and Android devices, which is really exciting and a lot of fun, I can promise you that already. So today I want to show you everything I've been doing and also what's coming next and also I want to give you a information on when to expect something like a beta version or a way to test this game on your device in your home, which will be a lot of fun. So if you want to know all about that, stick with the video until the very end. So let's get started. So one of the new things is that we finally have a home screen or a main menu, however you want to call it, where you can choose in between single player and multiplayer, but you can also select the plane that you want to use. And as a little spoiler alert, you will not only be able to select a plane in the future, but also do some customizations, but I'll talk about that a bit later on. And of course you can also then change your name and then simply go ahead and start the game. All right, so of course the big new feature is the AR multiplayer that I've been implementing. And this is working on cross platform so on iOS and Android. And multiplayer in augmented reality, especially cross platform is still very much of a novelty. And as far as I'm concerned, Lightship, uh, the tool that I'm using in conjunction with Unity, is the only AR tool that can actually do um, cross platform AR multiplayer on mobile so it's very cool that th this feature exists and I've been already actually doing a tutorial on that a bit prior uh, to this video and I'm using the exact same method here so it's basically a kind of image co-localization combined with Unity's native uh, netcode um, solution so this is working quite okay I would say I have to admit though it is very cool that this is possible at all it's still not that much convenient to have both players basically taking a picture of some kind of book cover or whatever uh, object in the scene and then this is used and has to be constantly used for kind of the cool localization but luckily for me or maybe even for us Lightship has already announced a feature called ad hoc mapping, which is uh, basically rendering the image core localization, at least in my specific case, unnecessary. And is only using basically the um, phone's camera and depth and meshing data to do some uh, core localization ad hoc, which will pretty much reduce just the time that is needed and the extra steps that are needed to get multiple players in a room and to find out where their positions are. There's also, of course, a VPS multiplayer, which works with those pre-scanned way spots. However, as I want my game to also be playable just inside, like in your living room or so, VPS is not really an option to do that. So one cool thing is now that Arcade works with up to four players in single player and multiplayer. And there are actually AI bots which will also work in both modes. So essentially you could for example play with two, three, four uh, players, so human players in multiplayer. But you could also play with your friend and then have two more uh, AI bots. So currently there's no way to team up yet. So it's all versus all basically. But in the future, I definitely want to look into teaming. So you could, for example, do a 2v2 and could play two human player against two bots or uh, any other um, combination you want to try out. Of course, there are also many small changes such as improved particle systems, crash animations, and there's also a high score list. The AI bots have been improved a little bit. And so also many details have been improved. So what is next for Arcade? One big feature I'm currently working on is the plane configurator. And this is supposed to be a really in-depth system to customize your plane to add different weapons to it. I'll maybe have some short or long range weapon. I want to have a lot of different planes ranging from small ones which are fast, easy to steer but have very low level of armor and maybe just one gun or so to big and heavy planes that might have multiple guns, multiple heavy guns but are quite slow and harder to steer and are not so fast. 
And my goal is to have a full on progression system where you can uh, gain some kind of in game points through playing and then unlock new planes, upgrade them, add a different kind of guns to them and, uh, and different kinds of attachments. And so this is definitely supposed to give some long term motivation for the game. And then I'm also thinking about a mission system where you have to complete different kind of challenges and maybe even adding or re-adding again some ground targets um, that can also be integrated there. So just ways to make the game fun and replayable in the long term and ways to just gather points to upgrade your plane. So that's what I'm working on right now and what will be the future of Arcade. But the question is also when will there be a release or a first beta? So I'm thinking about releasing the game next year, probably end of next year, but I also want to have some first beta or ways to play test in the beginning of already next year. So something like February would be a um, good point in time where I would really appreciate to have some people giving me some more advanced feedback in, on it. So what I'm currently working on or trying is to create a playable version as some kind of beta, probably will be a single player first with some kind of features active um, just to test out and to give feedback. And so this is currently my uh, timetable and the kind of milestones I want to reach. And I'm really interested in if this will actually work because this is my first game I'll, I'm ever releasing. I've done a few prototypes in the past, so we'll see how it goes. All right, but that's it for this video and I'm really interested what you think about Arcade. Is there any kind of feature or any kind of mechanics that you would like to see in the game? So let's discuss in the comments below. But until then, as always, thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.